Well, I'm Artifax of Mars, and there's a serious issue with the uh, internet today. Th I believe this to be intentional. Um, what, what you're looking at, I'm going to explain. At first, I thought it was a problem out on pole, but I called them up and they came out and they replaced my modem because it was all, it was antiquated. So they gave me a new modem. The problem is that certain things aren't working. Most of the time, Google search doesn't work. And Second Life doesn't work. Now, never ever call this customer care number of theirs. By the way, it tried to rip me off. 1-800-686-2200. Never ever tried to call that. It, like I said, it wanted me to pay out almost 400 bucks, which I wasn't going to do. Before I could even get online. Before it would even talk to me. The AI did. I th Judging from what I'm uh, seeing, I think it was trying to get me to pay off somebody else's account. At any rate, I didn't read small print before. This is a self-install thing, so there's no point in calling it anyway. Avoid it. Okay. So, I thought this was a problem out on the pole, which it turned out it was not a problem on the pole. Or out in the neighborhood, or whatever. And it turns out it wasn't. Because I got a new modem, and I'm still not getting online. But, I do have selective internet. That's really odd. I said selective internet. Now, to understand what's happening here... I'm going to have to explain to some of you younger kids how things used to work. I'm just going to use a comparison. Think of your... You're sitting there with your iPads and iPhones and whatnot, and... This is going to be difficult to explain to you younger folks how things used to be. It used to be we had this thing called a desktop phone. Oh, they're still around. Many of you, many of you have seen them. Many of you have not seen them. And you would lift a receiver to your ear and you would call an operator. And in the old days, you had rows of women. You can see them in the, these pictures. That sat at these horrible switchboards and they connected calls and all this uh, for people I want to make a long-distance phone call to so-and-so. That's pretty much gone by the wayside for the most part. But that's the way it used to work. Well, surprise, surprise. Uh, that's old days, back in dark ages. So think of your telephone as either a browser or a viewer in the case of Second Life. So your telephone is the viewer of the browser, and the switchboard is the modem. Except there aren't a bunch of women inside, it's all electronics, obviously, so. And it's much more sophisticated, of course. So think of the modem as being uh, a switchboard with all these women in there. This is just for... Comparison, so you understand what's going on here. So, Joe Blow calls up. Says, I want to make a long-distance phone call to... Oh, uh, Sam Schmuck, alright? Well, for some reason, Sam Schmuck has been blacklisted. You're not supposed to call him. So, Joe Blow tries to call up Sam Schmuck, and the operator says, I'm sorry, we cannot reach that number. Well, in fact, they were told not to connect it. That's basically what you have here. The modem, for some reason, is, being, is preventing me from connecting to uh, Second Life. And to, uh, oddly enough, most Google searches. And what I want to know is, are, are other people having this problem out there? 
because it's just, I don't know, weird. It's not a bandwidth problem, because what I found is that things are coming up very quickly. Now, bandwidth, if you don't know what that means, it simply means the amount of information going in and out of your computer at any one time. That's what bandwidth is. Um, if you have something with a lot of pictures, for instance, a page with a lot of pictures, let's say you have 12 mega megabytes per second uh, download speed. You go on the site that has 12 1 megabyte pictures. How long will that take to load? One second, right? Okay, easy enough to understand. Uh, if the bandwidth is really bad, if it was, let's say it was running uh, one megabyte per second, then it would take 12 seconds for those 12 pictures to load. You got it? So this isn't a bandwidth problem. Things are loading pretty fast. What things do load. So I've ruled out the idea that there's something at the pole. And I've ruled out that there's something, a bandwidth issue. And right now, the prime suspect is the modem. Problem is, my modem's already been installed. So what's happening here, I believe it's not accidental, I believe it's intentional. The modem uh, is preventing me from accessing certain things like Second Life. And it's not my settings, I mean, I've been doing this all along. So it's not in settings on my computer, that would be a wild goose chase. So I'm changing ISPs, but I'm asking our... Their, is there anybody who's having the same problems I am? And they started right after the new year? This is intentional, folks. Something, something is going on. I've managed to circumvent a lot of it. I wasn't even able to do email. I can now circumvent that problem. But I don't trust it, and it seems unreliable. But more than that, this is being done intentionally. There's no question. Uh, why? I don't know. Why am I being prevented from accessing certain sites? I don't have an answer to this. And, you know, my router's never given me a problem like that. Something changed, um, folks, in the new year. And I'm not liking what I'm seeing. I'm being prevented from going on Second Life, and that's going to change because I'm changing ISPs. And believe me, when they come out to my house, I am so going to dog them. I'm going to make absolutely certain Second Life works, among other things. Or they'll be taking their equipment right out of here. So I don't know, something's going on, I don't like it, and I wish you folks would comment if you're having a similar problem. As, uh, with all the censorship that's been going on, I'm looking at this and I'm just cringing at what I'm seeing. It's intentional, there's no question about it, and they're going to lose my business as a result. The question is, why is this happening? No, it's not a bandwidth problem, and I am connected, and I can do some things. But this is selective. I can't do, half the time I can't even do a Google search. I did a Google search for the switchboards. I forget what this search was for. Oh, uh, women of Star Trek Discovery. I'm going to pull up some pictures of them. 
rather repulsive. Uh, so apparently, I'm being allowed to do certain types of uh, searches, but not others. I can actually bypass this. I can bypass Google if I need to. It's called Start Page. It's just a different search engine. So something has gone horribly wrong. They're censoring us. I don't know. Please uh, comment below. Thank you very much. Hopefully I get this mess straightened out. I'm going with a different ISP, by the way. And hopefully we'll get this mess straightened out. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.